Bet365 made enough money to buy 4.7 brand new Lamborghinis every single day in the last financial year. And that's before marketing expenses and the boss's salary. So why won't they let some players bet more than 71 pence? When asked about this, Bet365 said, uh, they've got a nice mobile app, but they only let losers bet with them. Beat it. Jeff Banks, Rod Stewart lookalike and heir to his father's gambling empire, has a crush on Denise Coates and Bet365. But he doesn't like how they do business. He believes in freedom to have a bet and hates big corporations exploiting customer data. Although Jeff Banks' bet reserves the right to restrict winning customers and may need to collect your banking statements, P60 and driver's license. What? However, he does buy nice suits and his social media videos help me get to sleep at night. So, see tier. Skybet's slogan is making betting better. How do they do it, I hear you ask? By spying on customer behavior, refusing to pay out shots on target, and making adverts with gambling addicts. Integrity rating, Jeffrey Epstein. And no, that's not Denise, an easy F tier. But it's not all doom and gloom. If you're a self-excluded gambling addict, they may send you some free spins. Now the Triple Eight brand is worth a fortune, thanks to their huge array of gambling products and high-staking customers. But they're not just a swishy orange and black website. They believe in gambling responsibly apart from that time in 2021. Whoops. Although this fine explains why they do rigorous money laundering checks on customers trying to withdraw winnings. Unless you're a VIP in the Middle East. Double whoops. Integrity rating, left the building. Very responsible. F tier. Matchbook, our first betting exchange enters the mix when they've actually got a license anyway. Now it's clearly a better product than your standard bookmaker, but limited betting liquidity, adding a casino and heavy handed affordability checks drastically reduces their rating from A to C tier for me. Ah, the 2022 record holder for the biggest gambling fight ever. 17 million pounds, the Entain brands know how to squeeze a bean or two out of their customer base. Because Labrokes advertise bet boosts, lavish lifestyles, and winning money together. But what they don't tell you is that the big L also stands for losers only. Yep, like many of the betting brands on this list, they'll cut you off at the knees if you dare to win, withdraw or check you to death, and respond sometime between now and the next ice age. Addicts, however, get the red carpet rolled out, an easy F tier nomination. But they didn't do it alone because up next we've got their ugly blue brother. They declare they're raising the game or taking the smart money. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, Coral means F tier. Now, unsurprisingly, we couldn't find an honest sponsor for this video, so I'm relying on you guys. You know what to do. Next, we've got a surprising new entrant, Bet Connect, another betting exchange, but without premium charges and state restrictions. Liquidity could be better, but for serious sports bettors, they're one of the only options that are there for the actual customer. Document checks are up front and you're not playing against the house tier. An interesting one to watch in the future. Integrity rating is good. A tier. Just don't stuff it up, guys. Loyalty is dead and so are rewards. Paddy Power are like the funny fat kid at school. You want to like them, but they just want everybody's breakfast, lunch, and dinner money. They're one of the quickest to ban anyone who isn't losing and they've got one of the most horrendous customer services. Good for a laugh, bad for a bet, E tier. Next up, a tricky one, Ben Keefe's Star Sports, the legendary bet taker on course, but maybe not so much online. Unfortunately, modern bookmakers are all about playing the man instead of the ball. My opinion is on the man, not the race. But at least they're honest about what they're doing here. Integrity rating, fair. But more seriously, I enjoy Ben's food reviews on Twitter. He's good at spending customers' money. Star Sports rating, beat it. Ah, bet Dak. Yes. Believe it or not, they're still going. A low liquidity carbon copy of Betfair's exchange 15 years ago. State restrictions don't happen on the exchange, although you might be banned if you beat their seeding money, which begs the question, are they really an exchange? Integrity rating, <sighs> they're a lovely bunch on the beer, it's just too bad that they don't pay their bills. It's hard to do this as an exchange, but they earned it. D tier. Now William Hill is one of the best known betting brands with over 1,350 betting shops in and around the UK and an annual net revenue in the billions. Their extra place offers are great if you want to make some money through match betting. Also, they're very good tipsters if you like losing. In recent times, they're known for doing lots of gambling harm and money laundering checks if you're winning. It's just too bad they forgot to check the addicts and launderers. With a 19.2 million fine for not doing the correct checks, William Hill is the top G of gambling fines. Integrity rating, triple Z, F tier. Quinbet, an Irish firm with a history of, um, anyway, let's not talk about that. They specialize in document checks when withdrawing and threatening customers that talk about it on social media. Backwards, I know, but they are Irish, so we'll cut them some slack. E tier. Unibet, 
Ah, a breath of fresh air. Popular international betting brand with a focus on 0% gambling harm. Teamed up with anti-gambling salesmen and highly profitable charities, they have helped the anti-gambling mob bank more than they can spend. Although it's nothing to do with money, they really do care, obviously. Integrity rating, none. But their app is smooth, slick, and green. To the average Joe, it's a delightful experience until you want to withdraw your winnings, in which case terms and conditions may apply. F tier. This is fast becoming a competitive tiered list. Next up, we've got Betfred, the bonus king, one of the UK's biggest taxpayers, shortly behind Denise. Fred knows how to play the game, advertising the chance to win, focusing on responsible gambling, and doing anything he can to avoid paying out. For context, Betfred's turnover was seven billion in recent years. It really must have stung him that time that Andy Green got paid out. You know where this one's going, don't you? E tier. Betway, F tier. Boyle Sports, now this firm isn't that controversial and they're rarely in trouble, which is mainly down to the fact that they won't even take a bet. Just about everyone I know has got max stake of three pounds with them, but then I don't know any money launderers. Integrity rating, Stan Collymore, F tier. Super tier, and this would be the easiest nomination of all of them if we went back in time 15 years. Betfair Exchange revolutionised the betting industry and then sold out for a few hundred million. If this tiered list were 10 years ago, they'd be cemented up the top. But then they introduced a premium charge taxing winners. Seems fair. And created a sports book with rip-off prices. Seems fair. And then the exchange started crashing regularly, costing customers a fortune. Seems fair. They just stopped caring about customers in general. Very fair. Although they are the only real exchange platform that doesn't bet against their own customer base. Allegedly. S tier down to D tier. But wait, what's this? They did a marketing campaign with a famous footballer after he was identified as a gambling addict. Not Pete's best save. Let's knock him down. E tier. But the gentleman's bookmaker is surely much better. If we don't include last month. Not a bad bookmaker if you want to do your conkers. The limited betting options make it harder to beat them. And if you do, their employees may heckle you on Twitter. E tier. And finally, S markets. Smarkets? Nobody really knows how it's really pronounced. Another betting exchange, kinda. Sure, their third party company trades against customers and winners face an extra charge after 25 grand profit, but at least they're honest about it. Now use this strategy to take some money off of those dirty bookmakers, a 2% commission and a good integrity rating. I'm giving Smarkets a B tier. 